Have you ever wondered why you're tired all the time? Even when you think you're doing everything right, you're sleeping, maybe eating healthy, and yet your energy is missing in action, like your motivation after a bad night's sleep. Well, I've got good news for you. The answer might be hiding in the tiniest part of your body. So small, you'd need an electron microscope to see it. I'm talking about your mitochondria, those tiny little power plants inside your cells. And if they're not working, you're not working. Hi, I'm Dr. Tony Hampton, and today we're going deep, cellular deep into why you're tired all the time. Let's unpack mitochondrial dysfunction and how fixing it might just change your life. Let's build this from the ground up. Imagine your body as a big complex organization. At the top, you, the conscious human trying to stay awake during a Zoom call. Below that, tissues, muscles, organs, systems. Below that, cells. Millions of them, all working overtime. But inside each cell are these unsung heroes, the organelles. And the mitochondria? It's the organelle responsible for our energy production. They don't clock out, they don't complain, unless of course they're sick. Mitochondria take the food you eat, combine it with oxygen, and through a process called oxidative phosphorylation, don't worry, no pop quiz, they make ATP, the energy currency of your body. But when that process breaks down, you don't just feel tired, you feel exhausted, foggy, moody, and maybe even a little hopeless. Let's zoom out. Fatigue can come from a lot of places. Here are some usual suspects. Adrenal dysfunction. When cortisol is off, so is your rhythm. This leads to chronic stress, even burnout. That's your adrenals crying for help. Thyroid problems. Hypothyroidism slows metabolism to a crawl. Your body's on low power mode. Anemia. Without enough oxygen carrying red blood cells, your mitochondria can't even do their job. Poor sleep quality. You can't out supplement a bad night's sleep. Blood sugar swings. You eat a muffin, feel great for 20 minutes, crash, and need coffee to survive. Toxin overload or nutrient deficiencies. If you're not giving your mitochondria the raw materials to run or they're poisoned, you'll feel it. The common theme, these either starve your mitochondria or stress them. And stress mitochondria shut down production. Let's step back and truly appreciate what mitochondria do. These tiny organelles are responsible for producing about 90% of your body's energy. Every heartbeat, every breath, every text you send are powered by ATP. And ATP, that's the magic energy made by your mitochondria. But they're not one trick ponies. Mitochondria also run your metabolism. They convert nutrients into energy through the Krebs cycle and oxidative phosphorylation. They trigger apoptosis, which is programmed cell death. When cells get damaged or turn cancerous, mitochondria clean house. They create hormones. They're involved in steroid hormone production like estrogen, cortisol, and testosterone. They regulate calcium, which is critical for nerves, muscles, and brain function. Defend against oxidative stress. They help recycle antioxidants, but they can also generate oxidative damage when overwhelmed. What's more, mitochondria have their own DNA, and unlike your nuclear DNA, it lacks the armor that protects it, making it more vulnerable to damage. And when that damage builds up, you don't just feel tired, you feel metabolically broken. So you may be asking, what knocks your mitochondria out of commission? Number one, sugar overload. Chronically high glucose and insulin impair mitochondrial enzymes. Number two, inflammation. Cytokines and free radicals damage mitochondrial membranes and DNA. Number three, toxins. BPA, heavy metals, and mold, these all poison your mitochondria. Number four, medications like statins. They deplete CoQ10, which your mitochondria need to make energy. Number five, sedentary living. Use it or lose it applies here. No activity equals shrinking mitochondria. Number six, sleep disruption and blue light. 
throws off circadian rhythms, which regulate mitochondria repair. So with that in mind, it's time for a mitochondrial revival plan. Here's what helps. Eat fat for fuel. Fatty acids burn cleaner in mitochondria. Try tallow, eggs, sardines, and boca oils. Those include butter, olive oil, coconut oil, and avocado oil. Go low carb keto or carnivore, which reduces oxidative stress and enhances mitochondrial efficiency. Exercise, especially resistance and HIT. This triggers mitochondrial biogenesis, meaning your body builds more mitochondria. Fasting promotes mitophagy, where old damaged mitochondria get recycled and replaced. Red light therapy and sunlight stimulate cytochrome C oxidase, enhancing energy production. Cold exposure boosts mitochondria density. A cold shower might wake up more than just your mind. Sleep and de-stress. Quality sleep is when your mitochondria go into repair mode. Now let's talk about the nutrients that your mitochondria would benefit from, starting with CoQ10, key for the electron transport chain. Think of it as the spark plug for ATP. Magnesium, required to activate ATP. Without it, your energy currency is just paper. L-carnitine, transports fat into the mitochondria for burning. No carnitine equals no fat fuel. B vitamins, B2 makes FAD, B3 makes NAD+, B5 makes co a, all essential for energy conversion. Alpha lipoic acid, antioxidant that helps mitochondria process carbs. NAC and glutathione, cleans up oxidative messes before they fry your mitochondria. Vitamin C and E, protect mitochondrial membranes and recycle other antioxidants. Creatine, helps quickly regenerate ATP, especially in muscles and brain. Iron, needed for electron transport, but too much causes oxidative stress. Fatigue isn't just about how much sleep you get, it's about how well your mitochondria are functioning. So don't just grab another coffee or energy drink, zoom in, get to the root cause. Your body will thank you if you do. And if you found this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe. And drop a comment, mitochondria matter. And if someone in your life keeps saying, I'm just tired all the time, send this video their way. Their cells will thank you. I'll see you in the next video.